The film crew of the Visa Free Program continues its journey across warm and hospitable Uzbekistan, and today you will find out. What is interesting about pilgrim tours and how can tourists be impressed by Muslim shrines? Kazakhstan citizens often come to us as travelers, and such historic cities as Samarkand, Bukhara, and Hiva are the most visited places. Why does one of the largest Kazakh diasporas in the world live in Uzbekistan, and what do children learn at school? Our school children learn four languages, native Kazakh, state Uzbek language, and English, Russian languages. Education is conducted in all these languages. How do Kazakhstan artists shoot music films with Uzbek directors, and when will the single Central Asian film market be created? Like in the times of the USSR, if Kazakh actors could participate in our films, our actors in your films, then we will have chance to show these films in both countries. How to make a perfect pilaf. Every day half a ton of pilaf is prepared here and now there are 350 kilos of pilaf. You will find out the most interesting facts about Uzbekistan and the most unusual heroes of this country in the next 20 minutes of the Visa Free Program. Many travelers dream of discovering the East and its sights. Uzbekistan is the country where it can be done. This is a real treasure chest, which has the culture of antiquity and the regional flavor. Historical Uzbek cities are full of many architectural monuments that cherish the chronicle of centuries and tell about the past. One of such interesting places is the Tolubi Museum, especially revered by the Kazakhs. Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan celebrated the 355th anniversary of Tolubi. After the death of Jolbaris Khan of the senior Jews, Tolubi ruled Tashkent for six years until 1749, so after his death he was buried here. This architectural masterpiece is named in honor of the Kazakh Tolubi from the clan Dulat, the rule of the senior ord, which the people called Kaldurgach or Swallow. Tashkent Museum is still the most visited place of pilgrims. Millions of Kazakhs come to the grave of the famous ancestor here. The building was built in the 15th century from burnt bricks. He has a rare double pyramid dome for Uzbekistan on a low 12-sided drum. The most numerous and the second largest Kazakh diaspora in the world, according to unofficial data from one and a half to two million people, live in modern Uzbekistan. The largest Kazakh diaspora lives in China. Historically, on the frontier lands of two fraternal peoples, Kazakhs and Uzbeks have peacefully coexisted for centuries. Today, Uzbekistan for ethnic Kazakhs has become a second homeland where they can freely observe their national customs, develop their culture and learn their native language. Uzbekistan'da Kazakh ulttuk madeni ortalığı 2017 yılı 25 yaşa toldu. In Uzbekistan, the Kazakh Cultural Center has existed for more than 25 years. It has 10 own branches in large Uzbek cities in Khorezm, Jezak, Navoy, Bukhara and many others. Ulayatında Jezak, Ulayatında Navoy, Ulayatında Bukhara vilayetinde, Tashkent vilayetinde, Tashkent kalasında o siyahtı 10 bölümümüz var. Every year we approve a large plan of cultural events, the main purpose of which is to promote Kazakh identity, customs and traditions. We have a very developed theatrical direction. Many Kazakhstan artists come here on tour and perform plays by famous Kazakh playwrights. Also, on the contrary, we show Uzbek performances in the southern regions of Kazakhstan. In the field of education, a great foundation for cooperation has been made. For example, the Nizami University has a faculty of the Kazakh language and literature, and there are 300 96 schools with instruction in Kazakh. 396, uh, Kazakh, uh, this is one of the oldest schools in the territory of Uzbekistan with a Kazakh language of instruction. It works almost a century. The school was founded in 1926. First, a seven-year education program was practiced and later the school moved to a ten-year program. At one time, it even bore the name of Dunmohamed Konaev. Today, it's just school number 13. 365 children study and 27 teachers work here. Kazakh 
Our school children learn four languages at once: native Kazakh state languages, Bek, Russian, and English. Different subjects are conducted in different languages. In order to organize the educational process in this way, we carefully selected personnel. All teachers have higher education and categories. I am sure that such linguistic training will greatly help our students in their future life. After all, knowledge of languages always gives a person more opportunities. An honor student, an activist, and the pride of teachers, eighth grader Alia is an ethnic Kazakh. She has been attending the school from the first grade. Her favorite hobby is reading books. In her 14 years, she read all the Kazakh classics. Among school subjects, she likes math and literature, and she still thinks over the choice of a future profession. She is attracted by poetry and medicine. <laughs> I love my native Kazakh language very much, and at home we speak Kazakh. So my parents sent me to the school. I like to read the works of our authors and also listen to the songs of Kazakhstan performers, Rosa Rambayeva, Madina Sadvakasova, and Karat Nurtas. I dream to grow up and become a doctor, or I will write poetry. I have not decided yet, and I also have a dream to visit Kazakhstan, visit all its attractions, learn more about the history of my native land. Kazakhstan, yele, uti kornikte. Балар өзін туған жерін, өскен елін өте жақсы көреді. Сонымен қатар ата мекені Қазақстан туралы көп білгісі келеді. Children love their historical homeland very much. They want to know a lot about Kazakhstan. They are very talented, capable. We have high hopes for them. I myself was born among the Kazakhs. We have many of them here in almost every village. So since childhood, we communicate very closely. We are friends. We are fraternal people. As for our work, I would like, of course, more books and manuals in the Kazakh language so that we can give more knowledge to our students. <laughs> Sidali Baymurzaev is an honorary veteran teacher who studied at the school in the past, then began to work at it. Later was its principal and now teaches mathematics here. He is from a dynasty of teachers. His parents also worked at the school. He remembers all the stages of school life, how at first the children crowded into old classrooms and how a new building was opened. At first, the authorities gave two hectares of land, then a new school project was developed, and in 2015, these walls were built. Our school has a great history and is connected with the story of my family. After returning from the war, my father worked here as a historian. My mother worked here all her life. And I have been here for many years, so I think that I will also retire here. Commonalities of history, culture, traditions, and language connect Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. This is probably the reason that Kazakhs live here freely and they have all opportunities for spiritual and creative realization. Public figures and big-name politicians understand it. We have the same language group. There are differences only depending on the region and in some adverbs, but everything else is the same. We understand each other perfectly. How many joint families we have? This too should not be forgotten. And these are good demonstrative families. That's the power, and all of it unites us. Очень хорошие отношения. Так что вот на в чем наша сила, и в этом это все нас объединяет. A lot of Kazakhstan citizens come to us as travelers and still come to visit their relatives who live in Uzbekistan. We are not only in words, but in fact, genetically close. We are no longer divided into nations, but as one big family, we sit at one duster hun. Of course, Kazakhs who live here are anxious about their roots, and this makes me very happy. The blood of our batiers and bees flows in our veins, and we are purely on a subconscious level striving for history. The main thing is to transfer this love to the next generation. And the surest way to transfer this love is through art. The work of the Kazakh Enlightener humanist, philosopher, writer and composer Abai Kunanbaev was chosen as a vivid example in Uzbekistan. The great son of the Kazakh steppe is treated with great reverence. There is even a bronze nine meter monument to Abai. It is located opposite the building of the Kazakhstan embassy. Meanwhile, Kazakh Cultural Center promotes the personality of the thinker in other creative ways. <laughs> Жазушылар, біздің ақындар, 
We translate the creative heritage of Abai into Uzbek language. Already two translations are released. In addition, we're organizing a competition for the best essay. Participants first read the works of Abai Kunanbaev and then write an essay on one of the topics provided. The winner receives not only the title of Grand Prix owner, but also a generous gift, a car. Representatives of the media industry also supported the idea of mutual penetration of Kazakh and Uzbek cultures. They offered to do it through the big screen, namely to start creating a single Central Asian film market. Вот я был когда в Кыргызстане на фестивале короткометражных фильмов. Вот, там коллеги из Кыргызстана предложили создать единый кинорынок, центральноазиатский кинорынок. When I was in Kyrgyzstan at the Festival of Short Films, colleagues from Kyrgyzstan offered to create single Central Asian film market, like it was during Soviet times. Если будет единая прокатная система, единый не единый прокатный сеть, единый кинорынок. Ну там уже, конечно, последствия единый прокатный сеть. Если будет единый центральный кинорынок, это будет плюс для всех кинематографистов этих стран. Kazakh actors participated in our films. Our actors participated in your films. Then we can show these films in both countries. And if there is a single rental system, a single film market, this is for cinematographers of all countries. We have human potential, you have financial potential, you can create short movie El Manak combined into one full meter. These two creative men with great ideas for the future, friends and partners. One shoots feature films, second commercials and music videos. They are in demand not only in the world of Uzbek show business but also far beyond its borders. Also they work with Kazakhstan stars. Our artists travel to Uzbekistan primarily for good quality and an adequate price. Although the Uzbek production industry professionals did not say about their fees, they say there is no strictly defined rate. Everything is individual. Мы узбеки такой народ любим поторговаться, понимаете? Поэтому первая сумма, что скажется, это все равно ни о чем не говорит. We are Uzbeks, such a people, we love to bargain. So the first sum doesn't mean anything. First we will listen to music if we like it and if its content is good, we approve it, we try not to offend anyone. We know that it's very expensive to shoot music videos in Kazakhstan and we know how they attract Russian directors and directors from Europe. We even know that they go to Turkey to shoot videos. Well, in my opinion, these are purely financial issues. And if the shooting of music videos and commercials in Uzbekistan is given to the private environment, the film industry goes into the category of important public issues. Every year, the authorities allocate funds for the implementation of about 20 projects of full-length feature films and dozens of documentaries and animated films. When when they ask what movie is, a businessman will say this is business, a creative person will say this is art. But if we say that this is only art, it will develop very slowly. So you need to choose a middle ground. This is an art on which one can make money, and it's very good that the state supports and sponsors the film industry. Uzbek television is now moving away from the mass showing of foreign soap operas and they are replaced by domestic serials that reflect the mentality, history, culture and life of the people. The same can be said about music videos and social videos. They have more Eastern than Western, more traditional than democratic feature. Лично я больше стараюсь выделять внимание на смысловую нагрузку данного ролика или клипа. То есть Personally, I try to focus more on the content of music video through a good script and a good ideas. We try to attract audience. We want our music videos to be recognizable.
Uzbek people strive for uniqueness. It is their characteristic feature. Everything they do has a unique oriental charm. All houses have exclusive architecture. The products of masters are often peace goods. And the Uzbek cuisine has always an unforgettable taste. Despite the fact that the outside there is winter and only plus two degrees, here you will be greeted with a smile and offered fragrant tea. Uzbek people consume about two liters of this drink daily, and certainly they add lemon and navad. It is believed that Uzbek sugar provides the body cells with oxygen, removes excess fluid and gives energy. A country that is considered to be the birthplace of pilaf. Uzbek pilaf is more than food. It is a subject of worship and a part of national culture. On Uzbekistan, there is a joke, such as when you are born, you have pilaf. When you get married, you have pilaf. When you die, you have pilaf. This is true that any important event is marked by cooking dishes from rice, meat, and vegetables. To find out how to prepare the perfect pilaf, we especially came to the Central Asian Center of Pilaf. Uzbek pilaf is prepared strictly by men. Women are not allowed in this important process. In general, in Uzbekistan, there are several recipes for preparing this dish. In each region, it is different. But only here you can taste the so-called wedding pilaf. However, today our chef does not have any wedding orders, and he shares the secret of making Tashkent pilaf. We prepare half a ton of pilaf every day. There are 350 kilograms of pilaf. For example, for 50 kilograms of pilaf, we need 50 kilograms of rice, 50 kilograms of carrots, 50 kilograms of meat, half beef and half lamb. Also, we add raisins and peas. Uh, you will also need 25 liters of vegetable oil, almost half as much water, two dozen kilograms of onion, and two kilograms of salt. Pilaf necessarily cooked in huge kazans, and the fire should be built out of wood. It is so delicious. To organize this whole process, cooks come to work at 7 in the morning, because pilaf should be ready by noon. We come here at 7 o'clock every day. One kazan of pilaf is ready in four hours. We cut onions, meat, prepare ingredients. Then we put meat, onion, carrot, pour water, and in an hour we add rice. I think you should do everything with love and care. It is necessary to think of nice things, and then pilaf will be perfect. Uzbek pilaf is gradually conquering the world, and last year it was included in a list of the intangible heritage of UNESCO. What is interesting in Uzbekistan in the process of cooking, pilaf is not covered with a lid. Only the middle is covered with a small cup. Knowing how to choose perfect rice for pilaf is important. Wedding pilaf from this rice is very tasty. Everyone likes this pilaf. Every day people come to us and everyone thanks us and says that it's very tasty. Try it yourself. See how tasty our pilaf is. Of course, we tried the pilaf, but neither the most juicy video picture nor the most detailed text can convey its delicious taste. You just need to go to Uzbekistan and order this dish. Moreover, there is now a visa-free regime between our states, and believe me, not only gastronomy will surprise you in this country. Nature, customs, architecture, hospitality, all this will please you. But the greatest value of Uzbekistan is, of course, its people. Possessing an oriental character, they never show aggression or hostility. They are used to being polite. They will never refuse and will traditionally answer Hope Mali, which means okay to any of your requests. Today, official Tashkent has a new foreign policy, but the strategic partner of Uzbekistan remains unchanged. It is Kazakhstan. Kazakhs here are called brothers, on the one hand, referring to the history of two people, and on the other hand, emphasizing how important it is for the two countries to be always together and support each other.